Good day. Welcome to Customer Effects Training Webinars. My name is Dale Richter and today we're going to be talking about picklists. We're going to be looking at the SalesLogix web client and then looking at a couple picklist options and how to change those options. We're going to look at both contact type and contact status and then we'll actually get into the architect and see how to change those picklists and make them visible in the web client. So we're going to look at changing pick list choices using the SalesLogix web client. Why don't you hold on just a second and I'm going to switch over to my web client and we'll get started. Okay, so here I am in my SalesLogix web client and I'm just going to go to my contacts entity down the left hand side of the screen which brings me into the list view. I'm just going to grab any contact here, click on them and go to the contact detail view. So now as we're looking at the contact detail view, you'll notice on the top part of the screen we have a couple fields. One is contact type and one is contact status. If I look at the pick list values for contact type, and if I scroll up and down there you'll see that I am missing a couple types that I'd like to have in there one of them being billing and the other one being shipping. So I'd like to be able to put a type in there as billing or another type called shipping and they're not currently in my pick list. So we're going to look at that one and then in the contact status you'll see as I click on the drop down here one of the types, uh, one of the statuses that I have is follow up and I don't think that's a valid status for contact status so I want to remove that. So those are the two pick lists we're going to be dealing with. Now in order to change those pick list items, we need to go out onto the server and find our architect, open the architect and change those values within the architect. So I'm going to switch over here to my architect, so hold on just a second. Okay, so here we have our architect open. And in the architect, I'm just going to go up to the Manage menu and choose pick list. Let me put that in the center of the screen there. We're going to look underneath the sales logics pick list and I'm going to scroll down here now and find my contact type and my contact status. So let's first go into the contact type. I'm going to highlight that pick list item and go over and click on edit. And in here you'll see we have our different types and remember now I wanted to add two different types here, one being a billing and one being shipping. So I'm just going to click on add, I'm going to type in the word billing, and I'm actually going to copy the word billing up into the code also. And then I'm going to do another one called shipping. And again I'll copy the item and paste that up into the code field also. Now the item or the order numbers that you see there are the order that these pick list items would be in if they were not alphabetical. And as I click on OK here, you'll see that in my attributes that they are sorted alphabetically. Now there are pick list attributes here for required entry, multiple selections, uh, sort alphabetically, users cannot edit items. If you're changing these attributes and are using the web client, those attributes actually have to be changed in the application architect to affect the web client. These attributes here will only affect these pick lists if you're using only the LAN client. So keep that in mind. Now let's look at our other pick list here, the contact status. And I'm going to click on edit to edit that contact status. And in here, remember we had the follow-up item that we wanted to remove. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete that. It confirms that I want to delete it. I'm just going to say yes and then click on OK. I can then at that point go ahead and I'm going to close this pick list manager. And if you hold on just a second, I'll move back to my web client again.
Okay, so here we are back in the web client again. Now, before we look at the pick list that we created um, here, or the changes we did in the pick list, uh, there is one step that I didn't show you on here, and that is doing an IIS reset. So, up in the top of the screen, if we look up at our URL up here, you can see test88 is my actual server. So, on that server, you want to go to the run command and do IIS reset, and that will force the changes into the pick list on the web client. Okay, so now let's look into the web client. So if we go down here to our type field, click on the pick list here, you see now that we have our billing option and our shipping option. And if we look at the status here, we took out the option for follow-up and that is now go gone. So it's pretty easy to change those pick list options. Uh, remember that any attributes for the pick list need to be changed within the web client if you want them to take effect in the web client. Um, and you do the IIS reset uh, before the changes take effect. So this webinar has been about the SalesLogic's web client and changing pick list choices using the SalesLogic's architect. I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon and have a great day.